The question is, how possible is the World Ends With You sequel or a second game be? This is Top Gamer 007 and welcome to my new series, Is It Possible? I'll be talking about what is the setbacks of the sequel coming out and why it won't happen anytime soon and the light at the end of the tunnel or the possibility of it happening. At the end of the video, I give my opinion how the series would continue if a sequel was announced. Got the rules? So let's get started. <laughs> What are the setbacks? There are four setbacks I could think of right away and why I think the world ends with you too won't happen anytime soon. The first thing I could think of is that one of the producers of the original game was Cecilia Nomura. And now I know what you're gonna say. The whole audience is gonna say, why does that matter? Or Square Enix veterans, or not Square Enix veterans, but people that know Square Enix know that Cecilia Nomura uh, is making made the original game basically as the producer and soon no more this is to see no more's baby of course right he was the lead artist of the game he was the producer and I believe because he's busy with the two major projects Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 7 remake I don't think to see no more would take a third project and risk his games that he's currently making and stretch itself too thin and that's a huge setback like I don't think to see no more will give it to another person to develop the world ends with you or anything like that a next setback is most more like an excuse how could Square Enix translate the battle system to a modern-day console I know you're gonna tell me why does that matter most sequels use a different battle system. Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X-2 comes to mind and it had completely different battle system. One was um, turn based and one was time based. The best thing about The World Ends With You was its unique combat. They would have to make a complete unique battle system because I don't want anything, well this is my opinion, I would not want any like Kingdom Hearts combat slapped on or something. I would love a unique battle system. And you know what? That takes time to think about what can make a unique battle system. The third setback is to see Nomura had an interview in June E3 2016 saying he doesn't have the right team to make a sequel of the game. Lastly, Square Enix as a company might be scared to make another World Ends With You. The game didn't really sell well, especially in Japan enough to bring back the world ends with you to modern day consoles plus not enough people played the original to make a direct sequel what's the possibility of a sequel soon Nomura had many interviews on different games that he's worked on or in general at one time he did say he would love to make a sequel of world ends with you but the sad news in the same interview he did say that he didn't have the right team like I said in the last section and that was June 2016 that's when the interview was published at the time the world ends with you uh, chances a sequel would was low right but it's possible that Square Enix could outsource the game to another developer around September 2016 time and this will make like Nomura to watch over the project and he doesn't really have to direct it completely straight he probably write the story or something and he and and he made the character designs and he just continued working on Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 7 remake and he with this outsource of development I believe that they should make the game on Unreal Engine 4 because development is smoother and quicker on Unreal Engine 4 and th they could choose Unity I heard Unity have some performance issues on Nintendo platforms and you would love to it would be a best interest in Square Enix to put this on Nintendo platform this game would be like a $40 middleware game and it would be released at the end of 2018 I would believe and it's possible because it's a rumor floating around that a world ends with you sequel is coming to the Nintendo switch exclusively and that would make sense because obviously uh, world ends with you was originally on the DS but Square Enix recently stated that there's no limits to IPs to the Nintendo Switch and this is a middleware game and they did say that middleware games are ideal for the Nintendo Switch. So I believe that this could actually happen. Just remember this is just a rumor and 
anything could happen or this may happen or may not happen so let's move on to the last section how could this series continue the series didn't sell enough in Japan and sold about half a million in the West. I know it's popular in the West, but not as much to Japan and that's where the game came from. So a direct sequel wouldn't be ideal. Also, if you know the ending of World Ends With You, the story almost ended perfectly, especially in the Solar Remix. You, I wouldn't really want like a direct sequel anyway. I actually like the ending of World Ends With You. So most likely the game will start fresh with a new protagonist and antagonist. And the sequel will have a lot of references to the prequel such as easter eggs and popular quotes um, used by characters or in the story. And we will have like similar pins, names and all the different stuff. And and the difficulty and everything like that it will share that and the story would be share the same theme but modernized and we're gonna have like cell phones with smartphones and and the new type of clothes people wear put it some American type of clothes in there too because it was more popular in the West so this is gonna be appealing to more to the Western audience than before they were trying to but it did the game should be uh, should have new rules and conditions the, in the actual game part of the world ends with you if you know what I mean you know that is a game that they are playing in the world ends with you and they should have more rules and conditions if the game is coming to consoles it needs to have way more conditions to complete each day before in the world ends with you you will repeat different missions you do almost the exact same thing but in different locations and I believe that every mission should be unique and fun to do it's not gonna be a smaller game like before smaller game it was okay on the DS but if it's coming on Nintendo switch or any other console it needs to have even at $40 even lost fear and I am Sasuna have content you need to have priority in your missions you don't have to have every mission do the same thing but have more missions to do I don't, I don't know if they will bring back noise or a completely different um, or new common enemy. I would hope that the Reapers will return. Um, the now the hardest thing that um, the sequel needs to change is the combat, and it will take a lot of thinking to make a unique, unique combat because you wouldn't want like a Kingdom Hearts combat. I already said this before. A Final Fantasy turn-based uh, combat on top of world ends with you you would love a unique combat that no one ever have and only the world ends with you two halves right and if the sequel does come on into the switch you have to have a complete new battle system even if you have a touch screen make it obviously um bring back the solar remix version of the combat we don't want that because nintendo switch you don't want a only a handheld only game on the Nintendo Switch and that would be bad for consumers. Also, finally, the game needs to be an action RPG. It wouldn't be a it wouldn't be good as a turn-based RPG. So, this bat new battle system need to be completely on buttons. That mean no touch screen because if it's on Nintendo Switch, you want to play in dock mode, you can't. So, that's a no-no. And I would love the action RPG to have turn-based or not turn-based, time-based elements. So that means your pins have to reload or something like that. I expect more brands and pins. I don't know if Square Enix would put pins. Uh, it, well, not pins. I don't know if Square Enix would implement pins in the action RPG. Who knows? But Square Enix have a lot of creative minds. And they'd be able to do it if they think hard enough. Well, that's it for the video. In the comment section below, I would love your guys' opinion if the world ends with you too is possible. Also, I want to thank everyone that helped me pass 500 subscribers, and I hope I can make many more videos in the future. And this is Talk Gamer 7 and I see you in the next one. Peace.